I was so touched that the first thought that came that crossed my mind was I am definitely going to marry this lady. Because I know even you viewers can agree that that is wife material. But little did I know that she had other plans. Because after I got healed from the paralysis, after I got healed from the paralysis, I, re I came to learn that she was pregnant with another man's child. Now this lady approached me and told me that she likes me. So I started dating. Because back then I was just waiting for attention. But little did I know. But this lady was a sex addict. She studied. Our friendship grew, grew close. We grew closer to each other. Till we realized that we both like watching animations. So we started watching animations together. Innocently. Until one night, she landed a kiss on me out of the blue. And maybe because I was desperate, and I was from watching a lot of Disney animations about True Love's Kiss, I thought that that kiss was True Love's Kiss. Hello viewers, welcome to Chris Nolan TV. Thank you so much for your support, for your love. God bless you. For you guys that have been supporting us, Mungu wa Wazidi kuwa bariki. We are growing and we are growing in a faster rate. Asante ni sana. Today, on our guest is called Ian Wekesa. Mm -hmm. A person who has gone through thick and thin about relationship, but he was able to overcome through it and now he's strong and very, very strong out there. Here is the story of Ian Wekesa about relationship story. Thank you so much. Hi guys, my name is Ian Onono Wekesa. I'm 29 years old and uh, the, second, the second born in a family of three men. Okay, so this is my relationship journey, which started officially the moment I left primary school. So, I was a very high achiever in primary, because I finished primary with a grade of 413 marks, making me the, the top student in my school. So one day as I was walking around Uthiru, after finishing primary, class 8, I passed by a salon where someone called out to me. It was a lady who was, who was, who was my classmate called Naomi. And she told me that she had, she had liked me all through primary, but she was too scared to tell me. So me hearing that, I just said I liked her too. And we started dating. But sadly, she moved all the way to Mwiki from Udhiru. I mean back then, back in those days, I lived in Udhiru 87, where I still live till now. But that relationship was just sexual. Because I used to go all the way to Mwiki just for sex. I just found while it lasted. Until when I joined high school and we lost touch. So, we lost touch the whole time I was in high school. Until I finished high school, I joined an ICDL class. Where I met another lady called Ruth. Who also approached me and told me that she liked me. Computer scientist from my university. So, this is my relationship journey. My worst relationship. And it happened while I was just getting into, th into second year of my campus life. Because it, it started out during the school holidays when I had gotten a job, an internship with Kenya Re at Insurance Plaza. I remember I was posted in, their off in, one, in a certain office at the top floor. It just looked like a store because it didn't have any windows. So in that office, I was posted, the supervisor was my neighbor. Then there's this lady who came to the, who joined me, working together in the office. After two days, after the two days I was in, her name was Martha Washuka. Now this lady approached me and told me that she likes me. So I started dating, because back then I was just waiting for attention. But little did I know, but this lady 
was a sex addict. I know too many guys, that sounds good. But on the ground, things are very different. Because as it is well known, too much of anything is poisonous. So too much sex is also poisonous. Because in all honesty, that lady will run me dry. Because she will want sex anytime, anywhere. At, certain point, at, a, at one point, she even wanted it in the office. I mean, knowing that my supervisor is my neighbor, I could not accept that. Because she would have, if she had caught us, she would have told my mom. And that would have been trouble for me. I even remember this time, she actually booked a friend of hers place near Kino. Just for us to go and have sex there. She never introduced me to any of our family members. I never introduced her to mine because I was afraid. She even booked a hotel for us to sleep there all night, just for sex. And honestly, we did not sleep at all. Because it was just actual night. But thankfully, I had to go back to school. So I went away from her. But this lady was crazy enough to follow me all the way to Eldoret. Just to look for me when I just got my new girlfriend. And because I was this new girlfriend who I really loved, I started ignoring her. To the point that when she came to school, I ran away from her. I made sure I did not meet her. Thankfully, my university is a very good big school. So I ran away from her. And we lost touch like that. Because my ex even told me to delete her number. And I did that. So now I have no trace where she is. Because even she herself blocked me everywhere. And I'm thankful for that. Because that is one relationship I can never go back to. So guys, you need to learn from this. Don't just follow people out of looks. Know the intention. Thank you. About my ex. That lady was the love of my life. As short as that life was. Because I met her in campus. When I was in second year. During this time when I was really struggling with my education. So this lady noticed how I was struggling and offered to help me study. Because in that computer science course, I was not prepared for that coding that we were introduced to. So she helped me learn about coding and those, all those mechanisms of it all. So we started studying together. Then as we studied, our friendship grew, grew, clo we grew closer to each other. Till we realized that we both like watching animations. So we started watching animations together, innocently. Until one night, she landed a kiss on me out of the blue. And maybe because I was desperate, and I was from watching a lot of Disney animations about True Love's Kiss, I thought that that kiss was True Love's Kiss. So I fell in love with her immediately. And that's how we started dating. And we grew close, so close to each other that, we, that when we got to third year, we even moved in together into her room. And that moving in make, made the love grow stronger. Because our love was so evident till we were voted the best couple in campus. And that even motivated us more to stay together. And I was so addicted to that lady that whenever she went out to schools to do her, um, um, her mentorship programs, I would fall sick because of being away from her. And when she came back, I would suddenly get well. That's how addicted I was. But then I fell into depression in 2017, when I was still living with her. Because she's even the one who told me the crazy things I did in campus. Like stealing girls' clothes from the hanging lines and hiding them. Abusing people randomly in the school streets. And she even told me of this time she took me to the market to buy clothes. And apparently I was removing my clothes in public to fit in new ones. After she noticed these crazy behaviors, she called my mom, who told her to put me, to put me in a matatu to come to Nairobi. When my mom took me to Avenue Oso Parklands, who was put under observation, and the doctors assumed that I had taken drugs. So, when they were trying to do a drug test, 
I was told by my mom that I suddenly became paralyzed in my arms, legs, and speech. And that's how I ended up being admitted in Avenue Hospital. And this girlfriend of mine came all the way from Eldoret to Nairobi to take care of me in the hospital. Because I even remember watching this video of her helping me walk in the hospital ward until she put me down on a, on a, on a wheelchair. And I remember after watching that video, I was so touched that the first thought that came that crossed my mind was, I am definitely going to marry this lady. Because I know even you viewers can agree that that is wife material. But little did I know that she had other plans. Because after I got healed from the paralysis, after I got healed from the paralysis, I, re I came to learn that she was pregnant with another man's child. And she got this pregnancy the moment I became paralyzed. And to make matters worse, she moved all the way to Nyeri with the pregnancy. But before she did that, she still stuck around waiting for me to get better. Which I thank God for. Because she was my biggest motivation during that time of healing. I used to tell myself I have to heal so I could go back to Mercy. Because she was, she was my, to me, at that point she was my lifeline. After me watching her, I had to take care of me in hospital. But after it got better, one day she just moved without letting me know. I even remember going to her place in Kawangware and finding the house empty. I called her, she told me that she's going to Nyeri. Well, she lied to me that she's living with a lady. But by God's grace, one day my classmates chose to give her a surprise visit. But this, the surprise visit turned to be their surprise. Because they went there and found a man in the house. Because even they didn't know she was, she was living with a man. But that's how she is right now. She's living in Nyeri, I think. Unless she moved again. But anyway, she was a Kalenjin. Nwanda in Kibiza. And that's it. Thank you so much, dear viewer, for watching the story of Ian Wekesa. Hope that you have been educated. Hope that you have learned whatever he has gone through. He was paralyzed and the lady decided to get pregnant from another man that the person don't know him. But right now he's healthy, he has a good life. Everything is happening in his life is very nice. Thank you so much for watching the show. Let's meet in our next episode. And please, 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 thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you so much for everything. Dedication, we don't take it for granted. We, you guys are the reason why we decided to come up with this channel so that you guys can share your story about relationship, what you have gone through outside there, what you have been through, uh, through thick and thin. Everything is okay. Thank you so much and let's meet in our next episode. Adios, muchacho. Peace. Yeah.